establishment in Twiddle. Recently entered the Twiddle fast food market is fried chicken and peri peri. So it's as it Twiddle fried chicken and peri peri. So we have here a tower Philip burger. Philip burger, six onion rings, fries, plenty of fries, got beans, um, a large beans and a large gravy, and they threw in yeah, plenty of sauces and salt and peppers. So I've just had a little sample of the chips and uh, they're actually quite good. Um, I'd say they're better, better than uh, KFC. Yeah, ni nice, uh, nice crunch to them. They feel refried, yeah. Uh, they, they, they've got that refried touch to them. Nice flavour, without even having any uh, salt and pepper on them. This is actually looking quite good. I'm, I'm well impressed. The, the yeah, the fries are really, really good. The onion rings got a nice crispiness to them. The beans and the gravy, they come in sturdy parts, really well built. The quality of the packaging, very decent. The burgers, they're well presented. Well, let's try an onion then. I won't put anything on it. Yeah, decent. Yeah, I'll give a thumbs up for the onion rings. So, let's try some beans. Got a unique flavour. Definitely, definitely not Heinz, definitely not your mainstream brands. There is, I feel a, a touch of um, barbecue in there. Beans are pretty good. All right, let's try some uh, gravy. There we go. Mm, yeah, pretty decent. Nice rich. Right, the fries. Now, a few of these. But these, <laughs> these are, these are really nice. Nice, um, nice decent uh, thickness skin. Nice um, flesh. Yeah, these are these are <laughs> these are really well done fries. I wasn't expecting much, um, but these <laughs> these are pretty good. <laughs> yeah, definitely better than KFC for fries. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'd better stop eating those for a moment. A sampled Philip Burger. I'll just get get the phone out so we can um, I can show you actually what I'm seeing here. So, uh, just a, a touch of mayo on the top side, and then we got lettuce and a bit more mayo on the bottom. Alright, uh, let's break a bit off. So the chicken looks alright. The the uh, the exterior. Bit of crispiness, not too crispy, but let's, um, let's sample the um, the bite now. All right, here we go. Let's tuck in this side. It's not bad. That exceeds <laughs> exceeds my expectations, actually. I mean, I was, I was expecting the, the, the very low end of chicken shops. All right, there we go. It's actually really good. I'm shocked. I'm fucking shocked. All right, let's have another onion ring. Let's dip it in some beans. Right, beans, I mean the beans are just at the temperature to eat any colder and uh, I'll have to stick them in the microwave. So that might be something I could work on. See, it, didn't, it didn't have to come far on the delivery. All right, gravy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
I mean, it's, de it's definitely different to uh, KFC in the flavour. Uh, it has a pretty unique flavour to it. Pretty decent gravy. And so far, fuck me. I'd have to give this a 7.5 out of 10, or possibly 8. So if you consider KFC to be the bar, which I mean you can't beat KFC, this comes a close second. Yeah, out of all the uh, chicken shops, this is definitely a close second to KFC. Let's try the um, Tower Burger. So what we've got here, Tower Burger, that's what you get, like a, a wedge shaped hash brown in there so it doesn't go all the way around the burger so let's um, bite into it this side I can taste the seasoning now yeah seasoning is pretty rich yeah you get a nice um, it's a very subtle bite but it's there yeah nice seasoning quality of the meat decent hash brown uh, although they could have done better by making the hash brown the shape of the burger thumbs up <laughs> thumbs up for the tower burger as well as well like me pretty, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied with this meal and I, I actually didn't think I would be that's about it for the review I've, I've really done I've, I've made my point for the food so <laughs> let's get on with the farts Oh. 